Hey YouTube, Otto here. Uh, this is part three on the Schooner build. Uh, last time we left you, we had put in, we had put all the planks together. We put all the gun ports on. Uh, we laid all the decking. And I told you that there were other parts that were not decided on yet, like sail config, where exactly to put the, the mast for the sails, and so anyhow, uh, now we have chosen our sails, we've adjusted the, the where to put them. Ooh, look at that dolphin out there, that's awesome. That was really cool. Do you see that? It was a big old, I don't know if it was a killer whale or a shark, but it was out there. Okay, so anyhow, um, we decided on the three sails, and we decided on a speed sail in the front, a medium weight, uh, weighted sail in the middle, um, and a handling sail in the rear. We put a handling sail in the rear because this is a schooner. It doesn't turn as well as the sloop. As they start getting bigger, they get sluggish, and so we wanted handling. Um, the medium sail is going to help us catch the wind at multiple angles, not just the key angle. And it, during those times when we're really catching the wind, we'll be able to use our speed sail, and it'll really help us. Um, the other thing we had to compete with is the schooner. It being a medium ship, it can only it has four 4.0 sail space to use. And each of the sails of different sizes takes so much room. Like, for example, a small sail is one unit. A medium sail is 1.7 units, and a large sail is 2.7 units. And so I decided to get a bit more versatile. Oh, there he goes again. It is too. It's a hammerhead shark. He's out there. I don't know, right? It's kind of strange. He's out over there, but whatever. Um, man, that makes me a little nervous with what I'm about to do and everything. There's sharks in the water. Okay, so so if we would have went with a large at 2.7, we would have only had 1.3 left, which would have disqualified all medium sails. And so we would have been down to a small sail, which would have been fine, but now you've only got two types of sails you can use. Okay, and so I didn't want to do that. I wanted more versatility, and so I decided I wanted this ship to be more mobile, okay, more agile for a schooner than I did, like, in a straight line fast, only when the wind is going in our direction. Um, I want this thing to be able to turn when I want it to turn, which is why the handling sail in the rear of the small one. Um, I want it to catch wind at multiple angles. That's why the medium-weighted sail and I want it to have some pickup when we can really catch all the wind. That's why the speed sail in the front. Um, I put the helm in the front, right in front of the, uh, yeah, that's so awesome, right in front of the um, the medium uh, weighted sail because that enables me as the captain to let go of the wheel, spin around, adjust the sail, and then spin back around and get back on the helm. Um, the handling sail will work with me as I'm working with the helm and stuff and the front speed sail, it will really only be activated and open when we are really getting the best of the best wind. Otherwise, it'll be the other two sails that are being used. Um, and I put it in front of the mast instead of behind it because I wanted the view. Uh, <coughs> so yeah. Um, what else did we do to it? We put... Uh, rope ladders all the way around it two on the left two on the right two in the rear um we also use rope ladders down the uh the man doors there in the front in the rear let me show you here right here so i don't even know what this looks like we may actually change them i'm not really sure um, because that will go like that. And even if we close this now, like, let's see here. This is kind of new for me here, too. E. Okay, see, so you can close it, and the ladder's not in there, which is pretty cool. That's crazy. 
That's just trouble in the water. We got here trouble. Shark out there spinning donuts. It looks cool, but it's bad. Bad. Okay, so anyways, um, you can essentially trap someone in the lower deck if you pull up the ladders and you shut the doors. So, all right, let's extend this down. That way it's under the deck. Let's close that. These hatches are pinned, see here? So you can only go in and out of them if you are a part of the company or have rights to. Um, so they are locked, which is nice. It's front and rear. I always put one in the front and one in the rear. I know some people do one in the middle or one in the front or one in the rear. and I do front and rear for uh, being able to get rid of water and stuff when you're having issues. And I really like that. So um, I kind of run with it. Um, but as you can see now, the top deck is relatively empty. It's really simple. Um, maybe in the future we're going to get some heavy guns up here. We're going to get some swivel guns on here uh, whenever we get that part done. But for now, okay, we did the hull, okay? And then we did all the external planking and the decking. And now we have done uh, several parts of the miscellaneous and the sails um, and the helm. Um, we got a water barrel on there. <sighs> FYI, to use your water barrel... Um, you said you emptied this water barrel, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so if it's zero, just leave it open. Um, in the mornings, have your barrels open. Okay? By afternoon, have them shut. Um, you can catch the dew. You're not going to see it's downpouring, but it, there's moisture in the air. Um, if you leave the lids open, it'll, it'll uh, bake away by the day heat. Um, over here, yeah, at least that's... That's how we believe it is working. Dirty sucker, where's he at? Alright. So, we're just going to come down here. Um, here we've got some hooks. Accessories, lanterns, whatever. One there, one there, one there. Um, later, there will be guns, medium guns running down the sides, and there will be multiple ammo boxes running down the center. Um, so we have lots of ammo. We have plenty of storage. The Schooner can hold like some 7,000 plus pounds. So by the time you get all your equipment, all your people, all your guns and everything like that, you're looking at like 5,500 or so, I guess. Uh, maybe 5,000 or so. Um, so we got some storage. Lots of inventory space. Um, not necessarily for weight, but more for the actual uh, number of slots. Sometimes it's nothing to go out and start doing some things, pick up some recipes and pick up some treasure chests or I'm sorry, treasure um, maps and fill up, you know, a few dozen uh, inventory slots, easy. Um, I don't use the little square, the little rectangle boxes because they only have 15 slots. These all cost more to make, but they all have 45 slots and they're all pinned. So that's really nice for some security. And we've got the hooks front and back and center. Um, so it's gonna be pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, let's see here when we get our crew and everything uh, going. There we go. Let's go up. Upsie daisy. Um, I really like the rear end of the of the the schooner here because you can li like literally just walk right up it. You know, like it's a flight of stairs. It's really nice. Um, I do have a dinghy that can go on the side of this. I have not put it on it yet. I don't know if I'm going to yet. Um, we'll see what happens. It, it's quite possible it might. I'm just not really sure how it's going to play out with gun battles and moving in and out of places. If I find I need a dinghy quite a bit, I'll probably put one on. Um, but I do have one. All right, got to close this one here. All right. And as you can see here, there's another accessory lantern type hook. Um, we have two more here. Nighttime and all that, whatever we want to put up there. We have another one up here. Yep, right there. And as a general rule, I put uh, a ship this size. I have four buckets on it. Um, two in the front, two in the rear, um, down in the storage boxes. So there's, there's four people on this ship can potentially be bailing out water if need be. Um, there's also uh, four... 
uh, repair hammers. Um, that way, four different people can be running repairs uh, simultaneously. Um, so yeah, you really got to equip your people so they can do what they got to do on these. If you don't have the equipment and stuff, they can't take care of the ship. You know, they can't do their jobs. Um, it's it is kind of nice nice that the the deck is so empty. Um, it's clear. There's you know little obstruction, and I really like when you get behind the helm. Um, there you go. You go into third view. Um, I really like it. It reminds me of back in the day, Pirates of the Burning Sea, which was a fantastic. Uh, it still is pirate game. Um, more than pirates, you know, there was nationals, Spaniards, and Britons, and French, and and the pirates. Um, this one reminds me a whole lot about it. Um, I really like how the the battles and everything in this work. Okay, there's our kind of a touch of a crow's nest, I guess. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I th we are going to drop it, babe. If you want to jump on with us real quick. Or you want to get off or whatever you're going to do? Okay. You're going to get off? Okay. <laughs> if we run into sharks, you're safe. Okay, so first thing first, though, I'm going to... Yeah. Where's my option here? Yeah. Here we go. I'm going to actually, like, I, I'm going to try to do this. All right, and press K, zoom out, and go um, release ship. Is it? I why? Oh wait, wait! All that wood, all that wood comes off. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Let's do this. I probably did that last time. But let's come down here like this. This part won't deconstruct. All right. Here we go. Okay. Now we're going to press the K. Oh, don't want that. All right. You want to zoom in a little bit. Get the camera positioned so we can watch it do its thing. All right, here we go. And now we gotta press K. And now we're gonna release. So yeah, there are a few more miscellaneous things to do on it, but really, it can get out of the shipyard. I have other plans to move forward with, and they can be spun around and parked in the back. There it is. What are we gonna call this puppy? We are going to call this CTS for Caribbean Tiger Sharks. Schooner. Mark one. Maybe we should do this. So we know when it was commissioned. Oh, did you see that huge? See that huge shark? Darn thing out there causing mischief already. Actually, I think we'll leave the date out of its name. Schooner Mark 1, because this is the first one to be put out by CTS. All right, looks good to me. We will accept that. See if that shark's causing mischief before we go and get in there. Darn thing. There he is. There he is. Thinking he's slick. That's all right. I got plans for you, buddy. He don't know about my plans yet, but I've been busy with the ships. But eventually, <laughs> we can't beach him. He won't allow himself to be beached. But what we can do, it's so hard because you don't want to be, 
I should be over there checking out the ship, but all I want to do is mess with the shark. Yeah, I don't want to get too close because he can come in so far. You know, it's like I want to peek at him, but I don't want to come in far enough that, yeah. You know what, let's try this. Let's try to zoom in here. It's all about the camera angles, right? There you see. See? Oh no, that's a shark. I think it's a shark. He's trying to get slick, see? He knows. He knows that he can only come in too cl so close because he's so big. See? Oh my gosh. He is just like the ships, okay? When you are sailing your ship, you got to know your clearance. And he knows what's up. He knows. He knows he can only come so far. But you know what I also know? <laughs> I am going to be the mighty shark hunter. I've got plans for you. He's like, darn it. He's like, he's not coming out. That's right. I got your number, buddy. <laughs> oh, I know, right? It's so freaky, man. Sharks freak me out. Deep water freaks me out. Open ocean freaks me out. <laughs> I mean this. Okay, so we got to go get back on the ship. Okay, I'm not too concerned about the shark causing problems. Um... Not yet. I haven't seen they take ships down yet, but they're not like like giant squid octopuses grappling with your ship, you know? Uh oh. Darn it. Alright, we gotta take a lunch break. Run in. Gotta keep your door shut, otherwise people will be jacking your stuff. Okay. Gotta grab some food. Harpoon! <laughs> harpoon! We should get those harpoons and take them after the sharks. So yeah, we've got we got some we got some big plans. Um, but here's the kicker, okay, for today. This right here, this is the kicker, y'all. Oh, over here in the shipwright box. Where's that carpenter shipwright? Look at this right here. Okay, that right there is the uh, the dinghy holder for the boat. And this here, this is our large shipyard that we want to put out. Okay? So, that's what's up. We're ready to start. Wait for it. Wait for it. Let's go like this, like this. Jump over here to seamen. Down, 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 down. Expert shipwright, Galleon, the monster. We're ready to put down our large shipyard and get the galleon out here under construction. And so, yeah, that's what's up. Um, but we got to get this little guy out because I come out here the last couple days and I was running all over here on that side and some over here on the other side and even some down here uh, where I want the shipyard. And to be honest, the best place to put it is right where this one is. Um, within you know a few feet but yeah this is where we want it and so this shipyard is getting taken out and so we got to get this we got to get this out of here 
Um, all right, here we go. Um, raise anchor. Skadoosh. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's click this. Um, trying to figure out. This has got to get rotated here. What was that? <coughs> oh, that was you running around the lower deck. Yeah. I was like, what in the world, girl? What in the world's going on? Okay, so... Okay, let's, let's just start nice and easy. See that? She's moving, man. She's got no problem moving. And I know that's not fast, but that's kind of the point here. Uh, the goal, okay, the goal is to pull her out and swing her back around to the right and go back in there, spin it around, and park it. Uh, that is the goal. So, let's see how this works. Nice and easy. Babe, can you open up that rear sail? Yep, open it up 100%. It's a handling sail, so it's out here to help me spin this puppy. Ooh, ooh, down, 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 down. Drop it down. Drop it down to like 30%. Yep, we don't need all kinds of movement here. Okay, can you, uh, okay, hang on, hang on, let's see where this is going. Yeah, rotate the center sail. Um, tell me what it's at, and I'll tell you where it needs to go, bigger or smaller. Yeah, the center sail, yep. No, 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 that's how much it's, uh, angle. Okay, bigger, bigger, give me 10 bigger. Give me 30 bigger. How, mu how much can you give me? You gotta go bigger. There you go. Um, go all the way to 750 minus. It's new new numbers, so I'm trying to figure out. There we go. It's it's cranking it as far as it'll go. And that's what we want. And the wind is working against us, so this is not gonna like go real quick. But that's okay. Um, see, some people say, well, you can't spin it. There is no no wind and then I'm like that's not true you have a rudder and you can use the handling sail go ahead and open the handling sail 100% the rear sail see you gotta you gotta work your your sail right, that's what we get This isn't going real fast. Uh, the wind's dead against us. Unfortunately, you can only get 75 degrees on your your weighted sails left to right, uh, starboard to port. Um, and it, really, you just gotta wait a little bit for it to give you a little bit more. Um, I can turn a little sharper. See, by turning like that, it's getting our, our our weighted sail. Notice how the middle sail went from red to kind of a yellowish, an off yellow. That's good because what it's doing is it's starting to catch some wind. When it is, when it's red, you're not getting any use out of it. OK, 
okay, see, we're moving now. We're moving now because we're catching a piece. I don't want to do this too fast because speed kills, y'all. When you're out here maneuvering, doing stuff like this, speed is not your friend. Uh, you want to hit speed out there in the ocean, you know? But here, oh, he's still out there playing around. That shark is out there. I know he's out there. And he knows I know he's out there. Okay, so this ship is only like, I'd say it's probably about two, maybe two and a half, or two and a quarter to two and a half times deeper than the sloop. And the sloop handles really well um, as far as Is that lightning? Really? I don't recall it. We rarely ever see rain out here, y'all, in this part of the region. So seeing that is pretty cool. There he is, that shark. He is doing his thing. So we could get a whole lot more speed out of this, but we don't want it. We don't want it because, you know, you got to watch. See? You got to watch your clearance. And our clearance is okay, but this whole thing in here, okay, that's too much speed right there already. Uh, we're gonna stop there. Cut the, cut the, yep, cut it down to nothing. Um, okay, that's what we want. All right, and we're just gonna, we're gonna, uh, just get a little bit going here. That's it. The handling sail doesn't need much. Like, this thing will get moving so fast, but that's not what you want in these type places, you know? It's it's not like you do 60 through a parking lot. Um, especially if you're driving a big rig. That's what this is. Out of, the, out of the ships and stuff. This is a big rig. So we're actually bringing this back here because... It's not going into full-blown commission yet. Um, we got to get our guns on it finished. We got to get our our grape shot shot, you know, stuff done. Our ammo done. Um, I may even I may even play some with some uh, um, sail coloring. Uh, I seen a really nice ship earlier today that had some red sails. Really liked it. I thought it was really sharp. So maybe I can get Callie to throw a rope over the edge of this and paint the hull. That'd be pretty sweet. And I can see now that, I don't know, we might leave those ladders a little short and make people kind of climb a little bit. Okay. See, so it's just E real quick. Okay, and we're going to stop this. We're going to hit this here. Okay, now watch this. Oh, see? She's turning. People don't believe they turn when they don't have wind all blowing all through their sails, but they do. See? I knew this was deep enough here. That's why I was able to do this. There's a miss. That's cool. See, so we're going to get this turned around. Headed back out. Actually, we have a use for this. I think we're going to leave this here. Just like this. All right, and I like that because it's just one press of E, or double press of E gets you behind the wheel. One press gets you back, and you can turn around, flip your sail, get back to it, click. I do it with the sloop all the time. And when you get out in the open sea and you're just go, 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 you can pull every sail to 100%, and then you can give your crews commands from behind the wheel, so it's pretty nice. Okay, back here, Callie, we're going to show you some of this. In the rear of your ships where these ropes are like this, they tie off. Go ahead and press E and hold it and pull up the menu and tell it to drop the anchor. 
Yes, ma'am. Lower anchor, yep. There it is. You've seen it just moss down into the ground. And it's so close right there, so it wouldn't have any problem right there. I think I'm going to leave those other ladders like that. Um, I'm actually going to retract them all because when they're down, someone can go come up onto your ship being all dirty, you know, <sighs> trying to break into your stuff. But it's a whole lot harder when they're all up and I don't leave my ladders down. So if they're not in use, they're not, you know, they're not. I like how the deck's all wet. It's nice. Yep. And then you got to get these ladders back here, too. Uh, we're going to hold it. We're going to hold the retract. There we go. Come back up this one here. Hold the retract. All right. Actually, I'm, I'm wondering something. I'm going to have to try something before I retract both of these entirely. Um, actually, I might leave this one down. The one most of the island can't see, you know. You never know what's up. See, <coughs> excuse me. I bet that shark thought I was going to get in the deep water out there, but I wasn't. No siree. And what's cool is where that sloop is, the sloop's not trapped. The sloop has got a shallower run than this one. And the sloop is right up next to the shallow end right there. I can go run right off the rocks there and jump up and grab the ladder and get up on the sloop. I can pull forward a little bit, spin the sloop around and go out the other side there, over there where that other ship's at. So the sloop isn't, you know, by any means stuck. But I'm going to leave this here for now because I have plans for it later. I don't need it pointed all the way out right now. But all right, y'all, I wanted y'all to be a part of this, you know, getting it moving and, and rolling, rocking and rolling, so y'all could experience it, maybe get a little more, a better understanding of sales, what their uses are, why one is different than the other, and why one specific type of sale isn't necessarily better than the others. They work differently, um, and it really comes back to the captain to configure his ship and to know how to use it. Uh, all right, so I'm not going to put you guys through the whole uh, moving of the, the shipyard and all that. Uh, we are going to do that, but we will show you what it looks like next. And maybe then we can actually go over all the plans we've been doing with the shop. Because the shop has been, as you can see, it's been expanded a lot. And we got a lot more plans for it. Um, all right, y'all, this is Otto, or a.k.a. Deadeye, and Callie. Like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.